Reporter David Begno is from Lafayette, Louisiana, and today he spoke to the lead detective on the case. It was a time where you saw the worst that a human being could do and the best uh, all in the same room. Lafayette Police Detective Stephen Baja was one of the first on scene Thursday night. As you're approaching the door, are there moviegoers running out? Oh, yeah. The, the entire parking lot was full of people. Uh, people were rushing out, uh, hollering and, and screaming. Baja raced around the side of the building to the exit door for Theater 14. How quickly do you see the gunman? Immediately. And uh, he's deceased? He's deceased. Uh, you can tell that he suffered from a, a gunshot wound to the head. Uh, the gun was lying directly in front of him. Once you realize the gunman's dead, what do you see in the theater? I see extraordinary things. I see courage and heroism. I see terror. I see our officers tending to the victims. I heard people crying in pain, uh, asking for help. One of the injured guys I remember sitting in the back saying, don't worry about me. He says, I can probably, I can walk out. Uh, you know, I'm, 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 I'm fine. Go, go deal with someone else. Baja, now the lead detective on the case, believes the gunman, John Hauser, had a getaway plan. The fact that he exited out of that door where his car was parked right there, uh, that he'd staged his keys in such a manner that he wouldn't have had to dig them out of his pocket. He the key just, was on top of the tire. On top of the tire, that he could have just grabbed them and jumped in the car and, and taken off. The fact that you know we found no notes saying that he intended to, to commit suicide or that, that this was his intent, uh, uh, those things alone uh, lead me to believe that you know, it, he had every intention to do the shooting and then leave alive. Detective Baja is convinced that the shooter actually picked this theater and scouted it before the shooting. Jim investigators will now pour through a month's worth of surveillance footage to determine if and when he came. David, thank you.